New tonight, Emory University making changes to buildings that have been named after controversial men for decades. One of those buildings being changed was named after a scientist who defended slavery. CBS 46's Haley Mason is speaking with students and university officials about the decision. Some Emory students tell me it was uncomfortable being on campus where figures who taught racial superiority were being honored and commemorated. They say their voices helped influence this change. Emory University is making changes to buildings and professorships named after two controversial figures. People didn't like it and people wanted change. Some students we talked to today say it's a delayed step in the right direction. I think it's great that the two that they are considering renaming. I feel like it's sort of a little bit of half measures. Like I feel like there are a lot of opportunities where they could have done more. Emory's president announced that he will rename the campus spaces that honor psychologist Robert Yerkes, who quote vigorously supported eugenics. The Yerkes National Primate Research Center will be renamed the Emory National Primate Research Center. Currently, the building and shuttles bear the psychologist's name. Yerkes believed and taught eugenics, also known as scientific racism, the belief that genetic quality of the human population could be improved if inferior people were excluded. That's a belief that was prevalent during the Holocaust. LQC Lamar is described as a staunch defender of slavery and has multiple professorships named after him in the Emory Law School. Those will be changed to the Emory School of Law Distinguished Professors. People talk about it, especially the eugenics guy, partly just because that's closer to what I study. Especially Especially the black students here, they feel as though they shouldn't be on a campus doing their academics and knowing that some of the buildings that they're entering are people who supported things like slavery. It just doesn't make the campus feel as progressive as Emory tries to say they are. Students tell us the moves come after some very difficult conversations and discomfort on campus. A lot of talks with student government, a lot of people reaching out to the president of Emory, just voicing those opinions and basically saying like something needs to be done. These buildings need to be changed. While some students say the move toward progress is late, they add that is much better than remaining the same. I think it's both a good step forward. And I think it's also too little too late to some degree. Personally, I think it's too late, but I'm glad change is happening, and I think that's probably the general consensus on the campus. The naming changes did come with the recommendation of the university's honors naming committee. They'll go into effect on June 1st. Reporting at Emory University, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.